Friends, I hope this message finds you well. I'm excited to speak to you about something that will determine the direction of our parish life for a long time to come, and that's the Archdiocesan Synod. Now, you may be thinking, Synod, didn't we do that already over the summer? It's true that the Synod Assembly happened in June, but in reality, the Synod has only begun. In just a few weeks, Archbishop Hebda will release his pastoral letter on the Synod, and that's when the real work begins. St. Rose of Lima, along with every parish in the Archdiocese, will be responsible for implementing those synod decisions in our own community's faith life. How exactly will that happen? For starters, each parish is creating a synod evangelization team of about a dozen members. Right now, I'm in the process of inviting several parishioners and staff onto this team. Then, over the winter, St. Rose's synod evangelization team will be formed in a school of discipleship. After that, our team will begin to create small groups at the parish focused on evangelization, discipleship, and mission. You may remember that over the summer I wrote to you about a potential launch of small group ministry in our future. I wrote that before I even knew that parish small groups would be a key part of our synod implementation. Even though this slightly changes our plans, I'm taking it as a fortuitous convergence of what the Holy Spirit is already doing here. Plus, it means we don't need to reinvent the wheel. So before the pastoral letter comes out, I'd like to ask you several things. First of all, I want to ask you to pray for Archbishop Hebda as he finishes writing his letter to all of us. Second, I'd also ask you to pray for our parishioners, who God may be calling to be part of our Synod Evangelization team. Finally, I want you to get ready to go. Archbishop Hebda is soon going to point out to us where we should go as a church. As God's people, as God's church, as God's servants, where are we called to go? There might be changes to what we're used to. There might be sacrifices we're called to make. There might be new possibilities that we're meant to make realities. So let's all get ready to go where the Holy Spirit is leading us. May God bless our archdiocese, our synod process, and may God bless all of you. Thanks for watching.